Hi, I'm Matt from theturninggate.net, and I'm going to show you the Technicolor Dye Process Photoshop actions that I've just put out for free on our blog. You can download them using the link in the description below. So the purpose of the actions is to sort of digitally emulate the uh, Technicolor process used on Hollywood films in the early part of the 20th century. So there's a, a bunch of different ones, and I'll show you just a few and how to use them. So I'm in Photoshop, and I'm going to begin by um, dragging a color JPEG into my workspace. And here in the Actions panel, I've got a bunch of Technicolor actions. Um, the ones we're going to focus on first begin with the letter CH, which indicates that they use channels from a color image. So this is a single source. We take one image, color, open it in Photoshop, run the actions, and we end up with a sort of Technicolor-like effect. So if I run the first one, R plus G, um, the R is for red channel, the G is for green channel. Um, so it's a two-strip process. It merges the two colors, and we run that on it. And as you can see, it gives us a slightly different colored effect. Here, the background image, the color image, is actually hidden from view. So we're not even seeing it. What we're seeing is the red, which is dyed cyan, and we're seeing the green, which is dyed red. And when we put those things together, we end up with a color image. So that's the basic concept at work behind all of these actions. Um, if I go back to the beginning, I can run a different one. So here's red, green, and key. So we add a, a keyframe to this, which just adds some density to the image. Oh, sorry, wrong one. CH, red, green, key, is the one we wanted. So again, it's uh, darker. And what we would do here is we just add some adjustment layers to bring things up. So I can increase the exposure. Um, that's way too much. But you know, get that into an area where um, things start to look good and do some further processing from there. So those are the simplest, the one-click ones. We've also got some that are not one-click. They're a little more difficult to use, but I think they're actually a lot more interesting. So I'm going to close this image completely, and I am going to open up a black and white image. Um, this is an Acros out-of-camera JPEG from the Fuji X-Pro2, which is actually a really good camera for this process because with these, you actually want to shoot film simulation brackets, which means that my camera is going to be recording three JPEGs per shot. One is using a red filter, one is using a green filter, and then the other is just straight black and white. So um, with the Acros simulations, these work really well. Um, so we're going to get away from the ones that we looked at that begin with CH, and instead we're going to use the ones that just begin with the numbers, two strip, three strip. So for the two strip R plus G, I'm going to run this on the image, and you can see the image disappears. It's right here. It's just hidden. And what we've got are two smart objects. One is green, one is red, and these are the red and green channels. So I'm going to double click the smart object, and then I am going to drag in my Acros green JPEG. Save that and close. And as you can see, the Acros green is now being dyed red. And then I'm going to bring in the red channel, Acros, uh, Acros red here. Drag that in. And so there we go, it's color. And again, as you can see, it's just one red, one green, and when you put them all together, we have a color image. So they all work like this, the ones that don't have the CH, whereas you run them on the image and then you end up with a couple of empty smart objects. You just fill them in with the uh, color channels that it's asking for from your JPEGs, and then you have a Technicolor image. Um, again, these are free to download at the link in the description. I hope you enjoy using them. I've really enjoyed making them. This has actually been a lot of fun for me. Um, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the Photoshop actions.